Well, good morning, everybody. Man, it is a beautiful day today. It's gonna get really hot later, though, so we're trying to get out and about this morning and get our stuff done before it does. I was out in the backyard and I noticed Miss Roxanne was out here in her garden and I wanted to come by and say hi before I get busy in mine. Hey, Rox! Man, your garden is looking so beautiful. So much bigger than mine. <laughs> what are you feeding this thing? Well, I use the miracle grow. Oh, I need to I need to get me some of that. <laughs> Guys, look how beautiful her garden is going. All kinds of goodness going on over here. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What ones are those? Uh, this one is uh, zucchinis. Your zucchinis? Where's your watermelon? I remember you guys were talking to me the other day and you were saying that your watermelon's all big. Yeah, right here. That one right there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, here, come check it out. We'll show you. <laughs> guys. Watch out, Jaina. My watermelon at the house is not doing so good at all. Like, my plants are like this big. I don't think I'm gonna get anything from it. I'll be lucky if I do. Are you coming in more or not? You coming or going? She says, of course I'm coming in. She says, of course I'm coming in. Yeah, let's see your watermelon. Yeah. Well, I got watermelon and cantaloupe in here. Heck yeah. But I'll show you the big watermelons. I got a bunch like right here in this corner. I told Anthony, I was like, I'm infested right here with watermelons in this corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't even have anything even close to that. Yeah, and then I got more and two more over there. Oh, I see them. They're hiding in there, I see them. My plants are literally like this big. I'll show you guys here in a minute when I do a little garden update, but my plants are sad and pathetic compared to your beautiful garden. <laughs> Man. And you know what? Um, you were doing like the soap. Yeah, my bug. Yeah, your bug spray. Yeah, um, totally recommend it. <laughs> it works very well. Like if you look right here, see how my um, eggplant was like the bottom leaves here, they were just getting totally demolished. Yeah, my plants are doing that too. Yeah, well I've been spraying, so now these new leaves that are coming in, see them? Yeah. Nothing. And it's just Dawn dish soap and water? Yeah, two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap and one gallon of water. Okay. And what I would do for you is just spray, like I use these plants right here first, just spray a little bit, wait a couple days, just to make sure you got the ratio right so you don't burn your plants. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if it worked really well, then go ahead and just go crazy and spray everything. Man, your plants are doing, look at this. She's already got little, little cucumbers on the vine, or my kids would say they're pickles. <laughs> I need to definitely do something, guys, um, because those little aphids are infesting my plants and definitely ruining and killing a lot. I do have some good growth with the tomatoes and stuff, but your garden is just flourishing. Now, you planted like three weeks before I did, yeah. so your plants, I think I just didn't plant at the right time. We just weren't ready yet. I think um, too, for me, at least I found direct sew works so much better than like using the, the cups. Yeah, because a lot of my plants, they were, some of them are like little starters, but a lot of them are just direct sew. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, it's I don't, a, I don't think I'm gonna go that route next year. It's a learning process. Oh so yeah, always, every day. I mean, this year, first year it was, bug, uh, it was squash bugs that were really bothering me. Now this year it's like, a million other different types of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna take your advice and I'm gonna get the uh, the Dawn dish soap and the water and start spraying around and get that going on. I do know I have to go to the store and I gotta pick up some things. I wanna pick up some of that miracle Grow. Mm -hmm. I wanna pick up some of like a canister so I can go around and spray everything. Yeah. So maybe later on this afternoon when it's siesta time and it's too hot and ugly to do anything else, I'll go make my trip to the store. Yeah. And uh, then maybe, yeah, get this going on later on this week because we did so much hard work and I wanna actually reap some of the benefits. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but it's doing beautiful. Oh, man, yeah. I love your garden. It's yeah, beautiful. Got, you were mentioning aphids. I got, I had a bunch on my uh, peas, mm -hmm. but I've been using that Dawn Just Soap and they're going away. A little broccoli crown growing too. Do you? Yeah, right here. Just one little tiny one. Yeah, my plants are not nearly as big. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you do got a little broccoli. Yeah, my crown. Your crown. <laughs> King broccoli. Yeah, the first one. He's the king. The king of the broccoli. Yeah, my plants are not nearly as big and luscious as yours are. 
but well if you start using miracle grow it'll probably really take off you'll find in like a week or two yeah <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try it yeah I'm definitely gonna try it it's worth a shot right yeah I did that last year everything was growing really slow and then um, I bought the miracle grow and then everything really took off after that so it was a miracle yeah it was it was magic it was magic <laughs> Well, I'm excited for you, Rox. I know you're busy today, but I just wanted to pop on over here and come check your things out and pickle and pick your brain. Oh yeah. Before I get to work in my garden yeah. today. You were mentioning pickles? Yeah. Yeah, well, I have so many cucumbers inside that you can have and use them for pickles if you want to make some. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have so many, I just don't know what to do with them all, and they're just sitting in there, and I don't want them to go bad, so. Well, my kids and I thank you very much, Roxanne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you go fishing for pickles, and I get some. <laughs> thank you, Rox. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, a whole bag? Yeah, this is just one of my bags. <laughs> oh, I'm unworthy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but here. Definitely uh, put them to good use. Heck yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Rox. You're welcome. Oh, those are going to be great. I can't wait to have them. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, guys, um, to those of you guys that don't know, this is Roxanne with Country Road Cure. She is my brother's wife, so she's my sister-in-law, but like my sister, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they have a channel called Country Road Cure. It's going to be right over there in the corner. Go ahead and go over there and subscribe. Um, I know that you guys have got some big things going on with the Shed to House. Yeah, some yeah. Some exciting things. Yeah, we're doing some big things around here. <laughs> yeah, make sure to go check them out and subscribe. You guys can see them do the whole build on this thing. Uh, they're not completely finished, but they're getting closer and closer to the finish line. And and, um, I know that you guys, I saw you guys out here the other day doing some stuff in your garden. So if you guys like the garden stuff, make sure to check out one of their recent videos. It's going to be posted, I think, either today or maybe it was yesterday. Um, and you guys will be able to see a full update on all the good stuff yeah. she's got going on yeah. here. Yeah. And obviously, I'm getting a lot of my tips and tricks from Roxanne. So, <laughs> yeah. So make sure to go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to go run down to my secret garden, my not-so-secret garden. And I got to go uh, get that thing watered and... I don't know. I'm going to show you guys an update on what's going on over there. And I'm telling you guys, her garden is looking so much better than mine right now. Yeah, well, but it's you'll, okay. You'll get it if you get the miracle grow, and I bet you'll see some big improvement here in the next few weeks. So. Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's hope. Well, welcome back to my not-so-secret garden, friends. I'm going to get this thing watered and do a little show-and-tell with you guys. I do have to say though, friends, it is not nearly as big and luscious as Roxanne's, um, but that's okay. There's no garden envy going on over here. Roxanne is more than generous to share the wealth with me of her, uh, her actual produce, as you guys saw, but also the knowledge. So I'm going to take that uh, and apply it over here. Hopefully we'll get some good growth going on over here too. First things first though, I got to unwrap this hose and uh, get to watering. So friends, these right here is my watermelon. And as you guys can see, it's not doing pretty much anything. It's barely coming up out of the ground. And I've been watering it diligently morning and night. I'm not over watering, I'm not under watering. It's just not doing too much. Some peppers growing.
All right, well that's all done. Let's show you around. So guys, this is my watermelon. And as you can see, it ain't doing much at all still. My cantaloupe is looking a whole lot more promising. It does have those little flowers on it, so maybe I'll be able to get some cantaloupes out of this guy. Um, but there's that one there, that one, and then these guys right here. And this corner is my Brussels sprouts, and it seems like only one is really sprouting tall. That guy right there. The rest of them are just itty bitty little things. My broccoli and cauliflower, same thing. That's supposed to be a broccoli. That tiny little thing right there. I don't know if it's dead or what. This is all on my squash plant and they're starting to go. They've got all those pretty flowers on them, so hopefully the bees will come by and start pollinating and I'll get some squash out of those guys. But so far, just flowering. Over on the other end, that's where all of my cucumbers are. And so far it's the same thing, just lots of flowers, but no actual vegetables on it yet. Over on this other side, this front area is my beans. And I've got a couple of beans growing on the stock. Look at that, there's a bean. And there's another little bean right next to it too. Look at this, guys. Look at that little thing hiding there. I think that's just about ripe for the picking. There's several of them like that on this back area. Can you see them hiding in there? I'm probably gonna wait to pick them until I come out to do this evening's watering. But yeah, if I do do some harvesting, I might actually have enough for a dinner, which would be pretty awesome. Over here in this front area, I've got my peppers and the peppers are doing so great, guys. I've got this pretty purple pepper. Try saying that three times fast. I have a feeling it's going to be super duper spicy. I'm gonna have to check with uh, Mike from Three Mississippi, but yeah, I'm gonna wait for that one to get a little bit bigger and um, try to figure out what I wanna use that in, maybe some enchiladas or something. But right next to him, look at that jalapeno. Man, my jalapenos are doing fantastic. Right over here is my snap peas. And as you guys can tell, this plant right here of them got completely destroyed by those aphids. Aphids ate it right up. On a positive note, I have noticed that a lot of the ladybugs have been moving in and the aphids down here are all dead. Nobody's moving around anymore. They all seem to be super still, so I don't know if Now, even though these snap peas aren't seeming to do the best, I am getting a few snap peas off of them. So I'm gonna let them do their thing a little bit more. I mean, I've got several little, little spots where they're starting to come out, but they're very small. And um, I can tell that they've definitely been stunted from what they should be. Maybe after I try the miracle Grow and the Dawn dish soap that Roxanne suggested, um, I'll see a much better improvement in this garden in the next few weeks. It's definitely one thing on my to-do list. I'm gonna go to town later on this afternoon and um, pick a few things up to help around here. Um, and that's one of those things on my list. Golly guys, these tomatoes are starting to get bigger and bigger. And look at this big black beauty. A lot more plump than the last time we checked her out, that's for sure. She still seems to be the lone tomato on this entire plant though which I find to be a little odd, but I am not complaining whatsoever. Behind it, these ones are starting to get a lot plumper. 
still not ready, but they're getting there. And if you check out the tomatoes in the garden bed, you'll see right away, look at that bundle. Those are gonna be those small salad, um, the cherry tomatoes. And they're getting there, man. They're all green still, but they're coming in clumps and I can't wait. It's getting so close. These guys are finally starting to get some color and they're not so green anymore. Still not quite ready, but they are definitely getting there. Right over here, this bundle is really popping out. This plant is doing fantastic. I have a ton of tomatoes on this guy. They're all green, but they're all there. So that's great. Now my kale is still bunching out guys. Um, and it's still, as you can tell, getting destroyed and getting lots of holes in it. After I try the Dawn dish soap trick, hopefully that won't be happening as much, but man, it's getting big. I'm, I could still use that plant for um, cooking and for like my Zupa Toscana and for salads and different things. So I'm not too worried about it right now, but I definitely don't want the bugs to be eating more than I am. Right next to it, my lettuce is completely taking over. It's doing so well. I do have one stalk that's blanching out right now and I'm gonna have to pull that guy because that's not really good for it. So I'm gonna have to pull that. But other than that, the lettuce is really doing fantastic. So that, friends, is my not-so-secret garden update for today. Um, I'm gonna try that miracle Grow and the Dawn dish soap that Roxanne suggested. Hopefully things will start blooming a little bit better. I do have some things that I can harvest, which is very encouraging. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, this is my first year doing a garden out here. It's gonna be a learning process. There's gonna be some fails. There's gonna be some wins, but man, it's been fun along the journey. So I'm gonna go find Gary. You guys might have heard uh, some cutting and sawing and banging around. He's working on a few things. It's been kind of a slow go, like collecting all the pieces and doing this and doing that to, to kind of get it ready. But let's check in with Gary and see where he's at and what he's doing. 